Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter and today we're gonna to talk about this awesome $23 preamp for your camera. So this preamp is the Ceramonic Smart Rig. It's designed for phones, but we're gonna be using it with video cameras. So in a second, we're gonna jump over to the bench, take a real close look at this. And there's a couple things I wanna talk about first. Check the description, you'll find a link to this as well as an adapter that we'll be using. And the other thing is I'm going to break this into two videos. This video, the one you're watching right now, we're gonna talk about setting this up out of the box with a camera using an adapter. So we're not going to modify this at all. So if you just wanna buy this thing and start using it, this is the video for you. We're gonna do an overview. Uh, in my next video, we're going to talk about modding this like you see it here. So more tuned to shooting video on a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. So we're going to add a cold shoe to the bottom so that we can mount it on top of a camera like you see here. We're also going to add a cold shoe on the top so we can use a monitor, audio receiver, really anything. And then we're going to add a knob so that it's, there's already a knob on here, but we're gonna make one that's more proud. So it's a lot easier to adjust your levels. So that's gonna be really nice. And finally, we're going to remove the long cable that's designed for your phone and replace it with a headphone jack. But again, you don't have to do all this. You can use it out of the box with one small adapter. So before we head over to the bench to talk about the actual unit, let's go ahead and do a sound comparison. So right now you're listening to me on a Rode NTG4 which is run all the way over to my C100. So we're using the C100's top handle XLR preamp system, um, which is really high quality. So this is obviously a more expensive setup, but it's what I've been using for these talking head videos. So now that you have an idea of what that sounds like, I'm now going to hook up the unit right here on top of a Canon 6D, which has pretty bad preamps and we're going to see how good this sounds or doesn't sound. So I'm um, gonna use this exact same microphone and microphone placement, so all things should be pretty equal here. Okay, so now you're listening to me on the $23 Ceramonic Smart Rig. So we're gonna hear if this sounds any good. We're using the Canon 60, which isn't a very good camera for audio, so we're having to push the preamp a little more, so this will be a great test to see if this is going to be a good option for DSLR shooters. If it'll work for this camera, it'll work awesome for a lot of the newer mirrorless cameras that a lot of us are using. So now we're going to jump between this cheap setup to the C100 setup, go back and forth, and that should give you an idea of what this sounds like compared to the expensive C100 um, preamp. So right now you're listening to me on a Rode NTG4, which is run all the way over to my C100. So we're using the C100's top handle XLR preamp system. Okay, so now you're listening to me on the $23 Ceramonic Smart Rig. So we're gonna hear if this sounds any good. We're using the Canon 60. So there you have it. That is what a $23 preamp sounds like compared to a C100, which is obviously a much more expensive setup. So now let's go over to the bench, take a close look at this guy, see how we can get it working with our DSLRs or mirrorless cameras and uh, get the show started. So here is the Ceramonic Smart Rig. This is designed for phones and for tablets, but we're gonna be using it for cameras. And we know it's for phones because there's a TRRS or tip ring ring sleeve connector. So we'll talk about how to adapt that in a second. You'll notice it's very similar, if not a knockoff, of the iRig Pre. So very similar in size, but I actually much prefer this. I haven't done a side-by-side -side yet test, which I'll probably do in another video, but the plastic is more rugged. We actually have a knob, which is really nice, as you can see there, instead of this silly little dial for adjusting our level. Um, the switches are nice. Everything seems to be nicer, except for the XLR. They're pretty much the same. So um, this unit was made very popular because people hacked it so that you could use the headphone jack instead of the cable to connect to your camera. But really, both of these units don't need to be hacked. So you could do that. But if you're not into soldering or doing any of that, all you need is this guy, which we'll be using. This is a Rode TRRS to TRS, which is exactly what we want to connect microphones and devices like this to our camera. So all we have to do, 
Let's plug it into the end of either device, but we're gonna be using this one obviously for this video. And yes, it's pretty wimpy of a cable compared to the full-size shielded guy over here. So you could adapt this connector to a TRS, but if you don't wanna do any soldering, this is all you really need. So I'll have links in the description to this adapter. Now let's fire this thing up. Um, just like the iRig, it takes a nine volt battery. It's not included, but I don't think that's worth the extra cost, which is pretty significant. This guy is $22, $23. The iRig is 40-ish or more. So almost half the cost, pretty dope. Now let's fire this thing up. Um, you'll notice if I go on, we have the LED light for green. And instead of going the same direction, we can go off and then on again on the 48 volt side. Now we have both LEDs telling us we're using 48 volts. So let's go ahead and we're gonna bring in a GH4. And I'm gonna hook this up. The microphone we're gonna use is a Rode NTG4, which needs phantom power. So this will be perfect to test this with. So I'm going to connect the microphone to an XLR cable and the other end to our smart rig, like so. And things are getting a little crowded here on the bench. Let's rearrange this a little bit. Now I'm going to plug our cable slash road adapter into the camera. And we're going to fire up 48 volts. On the microphone, we have a blue LED. So just to prove this is real, turn it off, turn it on, there's the light. Okay, now I'm turn my level all the way down for now. And I'm going to fire up my GH4 and I'm going to hit record on that camera now. Make sure that's recording, good, we're recording. Now I'm gonna slowly turn this up and I'm gonna to switch to uh, this microphone, which I'll be holding. Uh, about a foot and a half away from myself. Check, 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 check. And we are live. All right, so now I can see my levels on the screen here. And I'm going to crank it up a little more. Where there's a, my computer's running in the background. That's probably why you hear a fan. And I'm still peeking and I'm, you'll also hear some cable noise. I need to hold this a little more securely. Something like that. Um, we're at less than a third around one fourth actually of the dial itself and i'm pretty much doing great on levels if anything it's a little peaky drop my levels so again i'm about a foot and a half away from my pie hole with the microphone and that's the level we're sitting at for you know an interview which is pretty fantastic so that is how you can hook this thing up without any soldering um, now what we're going to do is modify this a little bit to work on top of our camera um, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to this camera's audio. And if I flip the unit around here, you'll notice there's this little loop area where you would add a Velcro strap to attach it to something. So I want to set this up so we can use it on top of the camera and still have a cold shoe mount for a microphone or an audio receiver or something like that. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at doing that. And that's where I'm gonna stop the video for today. So this has been part one, the overview. Stay tuned for part two, where we're going to mod this puppy and like you see here and get it all pimped out, ready to rock for video. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe here to DSLR Video Shooter. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.